This is the 2021 Solus PX from Winnebago. This particular coach is based upon the Dodge ProMaster chassis. So it's a front wheel drive motorhome. It has the uh, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. A good round number on this coach is about 15 to 16 miles a gallon. This one happens to be the, the red color. There's also a white or a silver available in the, uh, in the Solus family. So we kind of walk around the motorhome. Probably one of the most noticeable things, and we'll take a look at it when we go inside, is the pop top. So we're, we're presenting you a, a van that is in the 21 foot range that's capable of carrying four adults in three point seat belts as well as sleeping four adults. This particular coach uses the cartridge style, five gallon cartridge style toilet, has a regular gray tank on this side. You have two house batteries that are mounted up underneath the coach and then it has the Onan micro quiet 2800 watt generator. Now this particular coach does have the option, optional uh, upgrade on the tires and wheels. The Solus is designed to give you function from pretty much every side of the, uh, pretty, every side of the motor home. As we walk around to the back of the coach, we can see that it's pretty wide open right now. It has a Murphy bed that we have tilted up, which allows us access to all of the storage underneath here. You have and you could still access these even if you had the bed, the bed down. What is unique about the back part of this motorhome though is this is kind of the gear garage. You can see you have three sets of tracks and this is actually designed to carry two full-size bicycles back here versus having to uh, put them on a carrier on the back of your uh, on the back of your motorhome. The screen which will block off the entire back of the motorhome. You have your hot and cold water out here so you can have an outside shower. Again, a lot of flexibility with this system, especially if you're going off of the, uh, off of the grid. This coach also comes with uh, a system that puts a curtain across here so you could use it as your outdoor shower or as a hanging area. All of the shades in this one, they zip up, but they're all attached with Velcro. So if we happen to have been out camping maybe in, a, in the desert or they happen to get dirty or something like that, all of these shades are uh, machine washable, which is kind of, a nice, kind of a nice feature on that. Again, you can see just the total amount of storage space you have back here whenever you, whenever you open it up. Even when you lay the bed down, you're still gonna have access to all of this storage down in this area. Now we come over to the main entry side. Again, we're using the screen that zips in place and then we can enter throughout on the, on the magnetic side. Again, the door will close over there. 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator that we can access from either inside or outside the motorhome. Both driver and passenger seats will swivel. One of the other really, really unique things is uh, you have a second outside shower right here at the entrance. So maybe if the dog got wet or if we're coming back from the beach and we're kind of sandy, we, have a, we can use the same hose that we would use in the back of the shower. We can use right up front here, hook that up, wash the sand off of us. You can see power plugs available right here as well as heat ducts. Again, there's two seats here with three point seat belts, the removable table, so we could swing this around. Again, both driver and passenger seats will swivel here. You have storage above the cockpit area. That's probably a really, really good place to carry this ladder, which leads to the sleeping overhead. Now, one of the things that's unique about our overhead sleeping is that's designed for adults. It's almost a queen size, with bed and it's actually longer than a queen size bed, but it'll support well over 400 pounds. And again, it's a mattress with a set of Froley Springs. If for some reason somebody says, hey, I, we just would never need that feature, we do build this exact same motor home, but just without the pop top 
on it. All of the controls conveniently located here in the central part of the coach. You can check tank levels, turn on our holding tank heaters, or provide heat for the motorhome. You have the wet bath at the center part of the motorhome. Again, this has the toilet that pivots. You have some storage in here. You also have a dry box and there is heat ducted into here. So even if you had some wet clothes, wet swimsuits, something like that with the heater running, they can, uh, they can dry out. In the galley, you have pull out workstation. You have the two burner LP stove with the cover that closes. So again, we can use this as a, uh, as a work surface. Again, all the cabinets in here require that you release the latch and then they simply stay up with the magnet on the ceiling. And there's overhead cabinets all the way throughout the back of the, uh, throughout the back of the motorhome. This does have a uh, desk which can fold down. So if we needed extra prep for the food area, or even if we had a chair and we wanted to sit here, the ability to uh, maybe if we need to get a little work done. Again, this will fold up and go underneath the uh, go underneath the bed here. Then this bed, you can see the uh, the slat system. Simply release the simply release the hook. Now we fold, we fold our bed down. You have windows on either side. Again, with the zip up, zip down. You have the addition, these big, be a good place to carry your pillows, things like that. This happens to be the shades to block off the cab area. But again, now, now we can sleep two adults back here. With the pop top, we have sleeping up in the front. And I'm actually standing between here and the end of the coach. I could actually stand back here with the doors closed. So again, we can carry whatever our valuable cargo is with us inside the motorhome. And this just simply folds back up against the wall. You have the Coleman Mach 10 air conditioner back here. One of the other things that's really unique on this coach is this is a sight glass for your freshwater tank. Simply turn that light on. You can see how much water you have in your tank. This also uses a purge valve. Again, we're trying to save water. So if I'm ready to take a shower or do some dishes, I simply click this to the preheat mode if I have the water heater on, and it purges all the cold water out of the lines and gives us instant hot water. So again, 21-foot motorhome, four sets of three-point seat belts, and sleeping for full four adults. This is the Solus PX by Winnebago.